what's good people welcome back to a new video uh what we're doing today is uh, uh testing a couple of cars so as you guys know there is currently a maintenance for those who play i racing there's a maintenance and i just wanted to try out some cars uh we're with the uh the lara ir18 and the bank of america i don't know what track i'm out uh, the charlotte motor speedway so yeah i just jumped on a random track so apparently this is oh that's so cool to see them okay whoa where am i going where am i going okay all right um so apparently this i think this is the um, this is the indy car where am i going where should i go So I have no clue about this track. I don't know where to go. Where's the break? But the whole point of this video is to just test cars, so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love the, the big crew. They look really cool. Do I actually have to come out from here? It looks very weird. But, um yeah no okay so that was the wrong okay that was the wrong exit but um okay this is why i need the pit exit line because um there's been so many instances where i got a back flag for not taking the right exit and it's always it always happened in like oval tracks and stuff okay Okay. The car is actually quite stable. There's nothing too crazy about this car. Where am I going? Yeah, I missed. Yeah, I messed it. Yeah. Okay, so where do I go? Ooh. Uh, nah, but, um, car is alright. Ooh. Ooh, that looks sick. The crash, too. I love the crash model on this game. Alright, boom. Different track. This time, we're on the Okayama with the... I don't know if I, don't know if I said it right, but we're with, um... We're with the F3 car. And a lot of people had positive reviews about this car, so... Oh, 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 oh. I need to learn this track as well. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love how you, you lose your rear a little bit, but you can kind of save it very easily. Yeah, this is a very good car. I like this a lot. I feel like I can really I can learn the car, like know how much to push it and such. And plus, like, I don't even know what setup I'm on. And I don't think the setup is even suited for this track, but um, yeah, the F3 car is, is a very good car. and. Uh, and I like the fact that we have these test drives because it uh, really helps us know what car suits our driving style and ooh, 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 ooh. nearly lost my rear there I love the force feedback of this car I really like understand what's happening um, as opposed to like, oh, 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 I think I, okay, now. See, I don't know how to take this corner. I don't know if I'm going too slow, too fast, I don't know. But, um, basically, what I was trying to say about the first feedback is that, um, I love how I can understand when the car is about to lose it and, and stuff like that. Or if the car is like about to lock up, 
you don't really get this type of force feedback on other games. Um, and that's why I really like it. Because with other games, with their force feedback, you um, you only get it when something happens. Like let's say you spin out, you get the vibration. The vibration kicks in only as you spin, like after you spin, rather than like maybe just before you spin. Because like if the vibration only kicks in like just as you spin, it doesn't really help you like prevent it, right? But with this, I it kind of gives me the feeling prior to maybe like losing the car and stuff. Prior to like maybe locking up or prior to like um, spinning out and stuff. So like I know that there's something wrong and I know that I have to adjust the, the way I'm driving. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's an interesting sound. Honestly, this is so satisfying. My racing line is not satisfying, but the car, it is. The car is very satisfying to drive. I, uh, now I get why so many people uh, race on this car. This is amazing. I kind of knew my car was losing it there, but I was just, I just kind of, yeah, oh, so yeah, this, I don't get this corner, but, uh, but I'm, the point of this is not to push it, push the car to the limit, but just kind of understand how the car feels, and uh, it feels amazing. This time we're at uh, Laguna Seca with the A8 Mercedes AMG GT4 car. Um, I haven't driven any GC cars, so... This should be fun. I don't get this pit line. This is so damn. So tiny. Yeah, obviously th these cars are going to be a lot easier to drive than the Formula cars, so... I think it's a matter of knowing how much to push this car. Oh! Okay, it's interesting how you have to like. Uh, I need to understand this car. So, so you can like immediately break. Cause like I'm so used to like Formula cars, I, I I I downshift immediately, right? But with this car, you have to break, and then like it doesn't really allow you to downshift straight up. Yeah, I hate this corner, <laughs> but um, I don't drive in this track that much. But did my car damage because of it? I don't know. Let's just try that again. Cause it's very different to what I drive in a set of Corsa. Cause I've driven GT4 cars in a set of Corsa, and it's uh, the feeling. It's a lot different and very slow. Obviously, going from a Formula car to this, it's gonna it's gonna feel different in many aspects. And, but um oh yeah that was so bad yeah I'm going super slow I could have went a lot faster there but oh oh, 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 oh. can I make it the corner <laughs> that was very late but um nah no, it's uh it's great really I love these test drives, so now I kind of have an idea of what to get. But obviously, like, I have to be able to, like, have access to this car before buying it, because why buy a car that you can't even drive? So, I don't know if it's if this is a Class A car or something. 
but um the death three is one card i definitely have to get and um yeah the force feedback really it, it is truly amazing like um it's not it's, it's not like that intuitive but it's super useful it, it just it's just everything a, a gamepad player kind of needs because most games like incorporate other types of things that drivers don't need like uh like the bumps on like of the track like it's not really gonna help that much maybe in some scenarios but like the type of force feedback one would need is like you know when the car is about to lock up or you're about to lose your rear and stuff that's the type of like feedback you need not like those unnecessary things um, I wouldn't call it unnecessary but rather just less important I'd say um, and so like yeah iRacing has really like hit the spot uh, this car makes me feel like I'm driving a truck simulator it's so slow I don't know I feel like I'm such a formula guy this is uh, it feels weird um, but uh, but it's really cool it's really cool Okay, different track okay so um well with the formula 4 car back to summit um contrary to the formula 3 car a lot of people said bad things about this formula 4 car but um just see how easy it is to spin this car out okay Okay, it's um, so braking is something you have to focus on, and then like coasting is where you can you might be able to lose your car. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, that's something I should have done. Can I go flat out? Not too sure, and yeah, similar to like uh, the GT. The GT car that I've previously driven it doesn't you don't really you can't really downshift immediately you have to lose some speed before doing so um, and that's something that I'm kind of adjusting to because I'm kind of used to Formula 1 cars where you get to just downshift whenever you want really um, and yeah I took a very bad approach to this corner but now this car is uh, I like this car I like this car a lot um, is it better than the formula 3 I don't know I would I would prefer the formula 3 because one is faster it's more popular and I don't really want to buy something that no one's driving really and um, I don't know Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit of time to really, to fully get used to this car, to fully get acclimatized with this car, if that's, that makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, you're going to see less and less mistakes, but you, you're currently seeing my very first time trying the, driving this car, so uh, yeah, it's not going to be smooth. Okay, yeah. So also, yeah, the setup is also another thing that I should be focusing on because um, I feel like this setup, the setup that's currently on this car is not suited for this car, um, for this track. But, oh, I really, I like that. I actually like the fact that you kind of have to challenge the car a bit to get through some corners and stuff. Um, I like this. Um, but that's also the same challenge you have with the Formula 3. So I don't know. I don't really know what to get. I would, I would get both of them really. But uh, it really comes down to like what people drive the most. And if they're both popular, I get both of them. But um, I don't really know. I don't have the money for it. But if at some point I might have it, um, I'd surely buy it. 1117 might not be the best lap 
might not even be good i don't know i locked up there i locked up and i was still too tense up okay so yeah that last lap was a very bad lap definitely um i can find time everywhere pretty much okay i'm trying to kind of i'm trying to push the car a little bit more seven tenths up now yeah so yeah i can find a lot and a lot of time yeah this car is um it's it's similar to the uh to that of the of the formula ford or now it's called the ray ff something um but the only difference is that this is a little more stable i enjoyed it to be honest and i know that with time with time i'm i'm gonna be able to push it to the limits but yeah it's a good car and some of you asked at least one person told me to uh try the formula one course so you know um we got the w12 loaded up and um yeah i did set like a, two laps just to kind of get a feel of the car and one thing you know that i should have done pre was to um i feel like give you guys my first impression of how the car felt but i was just so hyped to try the car out that i just kind of did it before recording but anyways um yeah so i also tested a w13 before this one and um i actually find this car a lot more stable than the w13 and a lot easier to lock up i mean a lot harder to lock i mean yeah a lot easier to lock up than this car so um oh And yeah, this car feels stable and such. One thing I noticed, like driving these Formula One cars, is that you have, really have to pay attention to your throttle inputs, that because it's very easy to lose your rear. But um. Yeah, let's get into the first lap. It's not gonna be the best lap, obviously, because... Haven't fully practiced, but... Oh! Okay, so that is a uh, 55-0. So now I'm kind of getting, getting a lot more confidence in the car. I'm getting out of thought a lot earlier and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I need to mess that up. Yeah, that I need to learn that part of the track because uh, I feel like I'm not braking enough. I'm the, I'm just not super confident on going on 100% brakes because uh, I just fear that I would lock up and when I do lock up, I'm just gonna go off the track. So um, like, yeah. Okay, that was five tenths. Huh? Uh. Oh, I thought the car was gonna turn. So yeah, so that's the thing. That's the issue with controller as well. That um, 
at slow speeds uh, it has a lock right um and that is i guess like 180 you can't fully go more than that I, I might be able to change that in the settings i'm not too sure but that also changes but if i do that what it also does is um i think it also changes the speed of my steering so it's, it's gonna become a lot more snappy i'm not too sure but we're gonna give it a go But I, I can see myself driving with this car in a race. I just need to get a little more practice. But yeah, but um, so now I kind of... I kind of understand why a lot of people don't drive these cars. And it's not that popular. See, as you can see there, I actually managed to get it there. So actually, those settings that I changed actually helped, so. Oh, okay. Okay. And that was, no way. Was that the same lap time I, I said before, but I don't know. Whatever, next lap. Oh, I lost a lot. Oh, man. Okay. That's one second faster. 53.7. I don't know what... I don't know... What's a good lap? I need to find... I need to see what's a good lap in this track because I don't know if I'm... I need to try different tracks as well, and not just this. I'll make this the last lap. All right, 53-1, I don't know if that's good, but all right. And that's my experience with the W12. All righty, different track. We're, this time we're at the Tsukuba, Tsukuba circuit with the W13. All right, so I'm jumping on like, uh, I haven't changed the setup or anything. So we're, we're just gonna, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just gonna try the car out. Um, so first off, yeah, it's a lot different than the than the um, than the W12. You got to be a lot more careful when you're on throttle. I learned this track with the Formula V. Some kind of truck. Wow. Did okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this car is a little. I think this car is a little too quick for this track. Maybe. I thought that's also a reason why a lot of people don't drive these cars because they're okay. Yes, yeah, so I need to get used to like going on throttle because um, I'm just yeah, I'm just used to other cars. Okay, so I'll take I'll take it easy first and then I'll try to push it.
I locked up there, so. Yeah, so um, one thing I do, oh, uh, I hope I didn't lose it. Yeah, I lost my rear wing. So one thing I do every now and then as soon as I get past the corner is um, I go from turning back to like center, back to the center. I turn my jersey back to the center because um, I'm trying to like relax my thumb because at times if I just, if I keep the uh, joystick up the whole time after, after a while, it's going to start to hurt a little bit. So, I feel like at that point, I did it a little. Woo! Nearly lost it there. The ghost, I won't lie. The ghost is very distracting though. But yeah, we'll make this our last lap. Okay, whatever. 45-4. I think it's a very bad lap. McLaren MP4 uh, at Alton Park. I just felt like... Uh, Alright, so I felt like trying this car because uh, I don't know. It seemed cool. Okay, so right off the bat, the car feels a lot more stable than the W13, so that's already one plus. Um, don't know if I can go flat out. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a much better car to drive than the W13. <laughs> so, and I love the sound of it. Alright. I don't know how to, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to take that corner. I've crashed with every car <laughs> during practice. I actually don't know. I'm yet to learn that corner. <laughs> um, but um, nah. Okay. Yeah, I can I can race with this, so that's a good thing. The next car that I really want to drive is. Uh, let's see if I can take this corner. Oh, close. Okay. How do I take this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are the only corners that I don't know how to take. I just never learned them. So. But, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't really know who races with these cars. I don't think anyone does. 
haven't seen like any videos or something like this called kind of that. Now, now comes the challenging corner. Oh yeah, again I sh oh <laughs> I should have braked a lot more. I don't know. I don't know how to take it. Either way, the car is really good though. So now we're with the Ferrari for a HG3 Evo 2020 at Alton Park. The reason why I'm driving this car right now is because um, I actually have access to this car and like. Uh, races so i want to see if it's a good car to drive and uh right off the bat it does feel good the sound also it's very good i feel like after a long time the brakes this <laughs> that sound of the brakes are going to be irritating but Yeah, this car is alright. All right. I need to learn how to like really push it though. But this kind of reassures me that I'm gonna like this car because the thing is with i racing is that when you buy a car, you can actually you cannot actually return it. Um, I mean, like get a refund and stuff. And um, and so any purchase you make is final, so you kind of have to like. Make sure that what you want to what you want to drive is like a car that you like, and uh, this truly helps a lot. And uh, yeah, a great car. Now this car and the uh, GT4, wow, are not alike. I feel like the GT4 just feels so slow. Compared to this, damn, the GT4 is, is really slow. This car feels a lot more speedy. like this a lot. I'm already trying to push it a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, is that the end of the lap? Oh, you can lose your car there. Okay, 38, 7. I don't know if it's high fuel and everything, but I don't know. But now nah, this is a very good car. I'm actually surprised. I didn't think it was going to be this good. Love the way it looks. Love the way it feels. Love the way it sounds. The brakes, I definitely, I don't know if I can change that in the settings, but that's something I'll have to change uh, if I do get it.